Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our integrated studies class for today, January 15, 2021. Today's topic, sense organ, the skin slash hands. Objectives. We're going to identify the sense organ skin slash hands, tell what the sense organs skin or hands are used for, identify things that are hard or soft, and we're also going to group things according to how they feel. My skin is a sense organ. I feel with my skin. All right. I feel with my skin. All right, so you can just stretch your arms out, stretch on one of your hand out, then you're going to use the other hand to just gently rub against the other arm. Do you feel that? So you can feel things with your skin. So if something brushes against your hand, you can feel it. If something brushes against any part of your body, you can feel Feel it with your skin. I can touch things with my fingers. All right. So we use our fingers to touch things. And when we touch something with our fingers, we can feel the texture. If you put your fingers against something that is hard or rough, you will be able to tell the texture of that thing or anything at all. You put your fingers against something that is cold, then you say, this feels cold. So I can touch and feel things with my fingers. Hands. You can use your hands to find how things feel. Things can either feel rough, smooth, soft, or hard. So we can use our hands to find how things feel. So things have different textures. Some things are rough, some are smooth, some are soft, and some are hard. Some things feel rough. Look at this picture. This is a coconut, but not all parts of the coconut is rough. So a coconut shell, that is the outer part, it is rough. The coconut shell is rough. All right, some things feel smooth. This is a drinking glass. So a drinking glass feels smooth. So if you just rub your hands against it, you will notice the outer, it's, it's very smooth. Some things feel soft, like cotton balls. Right here, cotton balls, they feel soft. Some things feel hard, like a log. This is a log, if you rub your hand against it, you will feel that it's hard. All right, so get out your primary integrated studies books. We are on page 127. Find each of these things at home. That's a pair of socks, hammer, a t-shirt, a key, and a pillow. You're going to find those things, then you're going to feel each one. Then you're going to group them as hard or soft by how they feel. Three, write the name of each thing in the correct box. Still on page 127. So after you feel them, you're going to write the names in each box. So the first box, hard things, soft things. So you're going to put the hammer, is the hammer hard or is it soft? Put it in the correct box. Key, 
Is it hard or is it soft? So you write it in the correct box. Socks. Is it hard or is it soft? The t-shirt. Is the t-shirt soft or is it hard? Pillow. Is it soft or is it hard? So you're going to write the names in the correct box. Now this is what your page should look like in your integrated studies book. This is what page 127 looks like. So this is a page you should be working on. All right, we're on page 128 now. A plastic bag feels smooth. And you know what a plastic bag looks like. If you rub it together or just rub your hands gently over it, it has a smooth feeling. Now, sandpaper feels rough. This is a sandpaper. If you rub your hands against it, it will feel rough. Get these things from home. Place them in a bag you cannot see through. So the things you're going to get, a spoon, a CD or DVD, a sheet of paper, a tree bark and um, scotch bright or scour pad, whatever you call it, or maybe if you have sandpaper. So you get all these items and you're going to put them in a bag that you cannot see through. Then you're going to close your eyes, place your hand in the bag. You're going to pick up and feel one thing each time. So only one thing at a time you're going to take up. Then you're going to say how it feels. How does it feel? Is it smooth? Is it rough? All right, so this is the page you're working from, page 128. See, you're going to get a spoon, sandpaper, plain paper, tree bark, CD or DVD. Make sure you get the old ones now. All right. For your extended learning activity. In your notebooks, you're going to draw two items that feel soft and the two items that feels rough. Make sure you send in a copy of your work when you're finished. You can do it. Remember, boys and girls, you can do it.